For millions of teens, this is how the day begins, a battle for breath. One in 11 children in the UK have asthma, and there are more young people dying from asthma than any other country in Europe. Every day, many of us choose to travel short distances in a car, and that has consequences. What we cannot see is the real danger. Petrol and diesel cars release nitrogen dioxide gas from their exhausts, and every minute an idling car releases enough exhaust gases to fill 150 balloons. As vehicles move, small particles come off their brakes and tyres, which can also enter a car through its vents. Pollution doesn't just disappear, it travels through the air, into our lungs, and even reaches our heart and brain. Driving to school might seem convenient, but it's affecting everyone at every stage of life. In fact, pollution levels are often higher inside cars than outside. Polluted air contributes to serious health issues like asthma, cancer, heart disease, and dementia. The good news? You can make a difference. Even when walking beside traffic, pollution exposure is lower than it is inside a car. So why not walk or cycle to school? Not only will you reduce pollution, but you'll also get some exercise, spend time with friends, and start your day on a positive note.